forces and the troops. On the eve of the second anniversary of the formation of the Home Guard, the Palace of Westminster Company was inspected by the Prime Minister, incidentally with Big Ben chiming in. Mr. Churchill used the occasion to pay tribute to home guards throughout the land. When that France fell out of the war, two years ago, and we were left alone, we were in imminent danger of uh, invasion. And at that time, we were uh, not only destitute of, a, of an army, but we were an unarmed people. But at the same time, that we reorganized our army, the Home Guard sprang into existence. And now we have the best part of a million and three quarters of men trained to the use of arms. I know you will not expect me to say that I look forward to an occasion uh, when your uh, services will be required, because um, if such an occasion arose, it would certainly expose the government to serious criticism on other, on other grounds. But should it ever arise, I am certain that we can destroy any enemy who comes into our midst, and that in itself is an additional deterrent against an attempt to attack this famous and long inviolate island. At a recent investiture at Buckingham Palace, rewards for gallantry 